Hi everybody, Paul Sawyer with the High School Theater Spotlight, taking a moment here to talk to Sierra Stevens from Sir Francis Drake High School. Sierra, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, how about you? I'm doing well, thank you. Now you actually got in touch with me through the website hsspotlight.com because you want to tell me about a fantastic new program that you're doing uh, called Behind the Scenes. Now I want to get to that in a moment, but first I want to introduce you a little bit to our viewers here. Um, Everybody always loves the origin story, so I want to ask you, how did you first get into theater? When did you first get bit by the bug? Well, um, when I was five years old, I um, was always like a really, really shy girl. And um, I had raised my hand to be the lead role in my, um, my church school uh, little like um, production of The Little Yellow Chicken. I really wanted to be The Little Yellow Chicken. and. Um, the woman was actually called my mom and was wondering like why I never talked in her class and why I would ever want to like put myself out there like that. And my mom was just like, just give her a chance, just give her a chance. So she did, and I was bitten by the bug, as you said. Um, but I mean, yeah, I've been really passionate about theater ever since I was five, honestly. And um, I think a large part of of, who, uh, of like my theater experience would start around um, middle school. I was cast a scout into Kill a Mockingbird at Theater Works, and that's when you could really tell I loved it. Um, I actually missed my first, my last hour of classes, drive all the way to Mountain View from Fairfax, and um, for two and a half hours we drove to um, rehearsals, and then I rehearsed until like nine or ten, and then I had to drive back in the nighttime, and it was totally crazy during my sixth grade year. But it was an amazing experience to play Scout in such an amazing production. And I met a lot of great people. Um, but I mean, a large, uh, I think a large pivotal part of my um, theater career started in um, my freshman year, uh, my freshman year summer. I went to Interlochen Center for the Arts Summer Program. And um, I was an intermediate in the repertory theater program. And I was cast as Emily in our town. And um, I think it was really there where I realized that theater was what I wanted to do with my life and what I loved and what I just was so passionate about. And all my um, high school experience with theater has been all over the board. I don't do a lot of theater at my school, but I do community theater. Um, and also I'm definitely involved in like internships. I'm a lot, lot, a lot like around the board when it comes to that type of stuff. Um, I interned at American Conservatory Theater just last year. Um, went on the ferry every single um, Wednesday, and um, that was a super great experience, also on weekends for like cabarets and such. Um, there I was able to like be behind the um, desk at auditions. I learned a lot about that. So currently I've been working with the San Francisco New Futurists as an intern there, and I'm really interested, interested in the um, experimental theater and kind of figuring out like how thought-provoking that can be and how um, watching uh, that sort of production can really change something. And, um, but overall, I've been kind of around the board when it comes to theater and definitely taking advantage of um, my high school um, experience to uh, learn a lot about the different opportunities around me and the different opportunities with theater, which is kind of what led me to starting behind the scenes. Okay, so tell me about behind the scenes. Now, it's been such a wonderful thing. Um, YouTube is chock full of things from inside the actor's studio um, and any other interviews. Now, the only problem with that is that it's a one-way street. There's just a person giving great insight, but just to somebody at the other end who can't really talk about it. So tell me about your program. Well, behind the scenes is kind of when I bring in professional actors or professionals that I, um, in the business, that I have made contact with through... Um, honestly anything. And um, my next speaker actually, Heather Gordon, had, I was in a community pr production with her. She had just come back from one of her professional gigs and had just decided to come back to the, com the community to um, join that. And we had met there. But I think a large part of behind the scenes is helping um, students who may or may not be lost in when it comes to um, studying theater and following their dreams with theater um, or anything in the inter entertainment industry, um, kind of helping people make that next step. 
And um, there are many, like, like, I think that there's a large stereotype of, um, oh, well, you, you have to go to Carnegie Mellon and then you're going to Broadway. Like, that's not, that's not the only way that you can make it in theater. And um, I think a lot of people definitely don't have that experience. And um, I think that definitely learning about the different paths you can take with theater um, and how so many people, when they're studying and they're working actors, how they completely intertwine with so many different things as part of um, theater. And um, like I know many working actors who work as a technician, as well as a director, as well as an actor. And um, I think that's a very large part about um, taking the next step is being aware of the different opportunities you have. And um, I'm a very self-advocating -advoc person. And so I myself have already um, like done like a lot of research on stuff like that. But I think a lot of people um, don't have the opportunity to do that research or are too lost to even do that research. And um, I created be behind the scenes to make sure that people's passions don't get lost in the cloudiness and confusion that theater is. Very nice. Um, now for you, you're a senior in high school. Big steps are coming up. What do you see as the next step for you? What um, possible schools, what kind of track do you see yourself going into <laughs> for the year after this year? I mean, yeah, I'm definitely looking into studying theater. That's something that I've known since freshman year. Um, I'm definitely looking more into the academic track. Uh, possibly like a BA in theater, which is something you can learn, the difference between a BA and a BFA. Mm -hmm. um, I won't take the time explaining it right now, but I think that I'm definitely more interested in a BA, but um, I think that I'm more looking at the programs themselves and what I like and what they're offering rather than like BA or BFA. I do know that I'm very passionate about um, a lot of things, and um, academics and um, political science, for example, like those are things that I value a lot. And um, I know that I want to go to a big school with like a big university that has like a lot to offer. I want like the whole college experience. So um, I'm definitely not looking into conservatories, but that is something that definitely people are interested in, just like only studying theater and um, having that really intense, rigorous, um, theater uh, education experience, um, that's definitely a lot of people's um, what they want. Mm -hmm. And um, I have many friends who are looking into that option as well. Um, but yeah. That practical immersion. Uh, that's become such a vogue thing right now. Everybody says, how many dance classes, acting classes, movement classes, text classes, and classics classes can I take before <laughs> lunch? Cool. Um, thanks so much for talking with us today. Of course, thank you so much. And everybody, when you're done taking a look at this, of course, head over to hsspotlight.com. Head over to our Facebook page. Like us there so you can stay in touch. And once again, Sierra, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you so much. This has been a great experience. If you guys want to learn more about Behind the Scenes, um, we're having our next uh, speaker series at Sir Francis Drake High School. You can contact me via my Behind the Scenes Speaker Series Facebook page. And there's also my um, website, which is www.behindthescenes.vpweb.com. And um, you can check me out there. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sierra.